Okay guys, good morning and welcome to today's Products in Focus. Well, the FOMC certainly surprised last night with a particularly dovish statement caught catching the hawks off guard. Big moves in the dollar overnight, big moves in the dollar again this morning to be honest. So, long story short, ultra loose monetary policy for the longer term, no uh, looking to uh, raise interest rates anytime soon. And they gave a time frame of, I think, I believe sometime in October to wind up the uh, the Fed stimulus package. Um, but all in all, uh, no sign of rates, quite happy to keep rates for low for a longer period of time. Uh, gave a little bit of a boost to the equity markets, had a big effect on the dollar overnight. It's almost completely reversed again first thing this morning. So we'll have a look at that in a second. Um, US 30 just hitting potential resistance at 69.69. Uh, the all-time high still remains around about uh, 17,072. That's going to be our next potential resistance if the markets are unable to move up that little bit higher. Obviously, we are still in the middle of earnings season. Not much else coming out today, I don't think. Um, but you know, there's a, there's a lot of reasons for the equity markets to keep on uh, grinding uh, higher over in the US. So the UK and European stock indices, however, are not feeling the love that much. Uh, there was a little bit of a rebound last night. You can see here by the tip of this candle here that we moved on that little bit higher after piercing uh, 6713. Um, we pushed higher on the back of that FOMC statement. We've since retreated right back down again. It really feels that the pressure is on for the UK 100 and the Germany 30. Keep your eye on the potential support here at 6713. And if we break that, next potential support is 6666. So Japan 225, since the dollar kind of basically gave up the gold last night, Japanese yen is in play. Uh, people buying up the yen right now. Um, that's adding pressure to Japan 225. Potential resistance still at 15,488. Uh, we are hitting that 21 period SMA. Nothing really too exciting. We are maybe actually starting uh, a sending triangle formation right here. Let me just quickly add that onto my chart. Just take the bottoms like this. Actually, that's exactly what that is. So um, that means we're either going to get a break lower or we're going to get a break a higher. So I'm going to say there's an ascending triangle formation in Japan, 225. Uh, if we do get a break below this uh, support, potential support, then 49.77 is in play. Now, looking at dollar yen, uh, the trend still seems to be intact. That US dollar weakness is obviously helping dollar yen and its downtrend. Uh, if there is uncertainty in the market, i.e., any of the uh, U.S. earnings begin to disappoint and people get a bit scared, you know, fears returning to the markets, VIX has been up, you know, people will be starting starting to buy the yen. So keep an eye on 101 spot 35. That looks to be potential support in the short term, followed by 100 spot 80. Uh, Japanese yen has always been, uh, dollar Japanese yen has always been a favorite of mine and it's been slowly creeping lower uh, over the last couple of uh, last couple of months. So. Um, Let's see what happens with that. So West Texas crude continues to, to disappoint. Um, trying to do a little bit more deeper research as to why this is happening. So yesterday, inventories actually came out worse than expected. I think it was minus 2.7, 2.4 versus minus 1.7 ex expected. So reading a bit more about this, apparently it's Libyan production output has increased and US demand is decreasing. And obviously, if you throw in the fact that Ukraine and Iraq don't seem to be destabilizing any further, um, that seems to be some of the fundamentals behind it. Um, the reality is, I think a lot. I think this move, the the quickness of this move to the downside, has surprised many, considering the fact that large swathes of northern Iraq is still under control by uh, by Sunni rebels. But um, nevertheless, that's where we are just now. So the new potential range is resistance, potential resistance at 103, potential support at 100 spot 60. So keep your eye on that. And obviously, we're just at the, the, the cusp of the low of this candle right here. So maybe right about 102 is another potential short-term support. So um, interesting moves there on crude. So gold, gold, obviously getting another shot in the arm. No uh, rise in interest rates. That's a dollar positive. Weaker US dollar. That's a gold positive. Um, so we are now retesting potential resistance at 1332. A lot of the fundamentals are in place here. If this manages to break and close above 1332, then the next potential resistance is at 1362, which is a decent move. So this ascending uh, triangle formation is close to breaking out. Uh, 1332 keep an eye on that level very important so euro dollar had a great move to the upside last night uh, on the back of the fomc uh, it's had a reluctance to break past resistance potential resistance at one spot 36.45 that's the level to watch loads of people looking at fx today cable euro dollar dollar yen all in play today 
and finishing up there with GBP USD, um, we had a, a chance to retest one spot something one eighty eighty four, failed to move that little bit higher. Even this morning, we actually attempted again only to get pushed back down. In fact, the severity of the move on GBP USD a little bit more than Euro dollar, um, but you know things are in place now. If the UK data continues to be strong, the US interest rates don't appear to be going anywhere based on the Fed rhetoric though they do happen to change their minds every so often, but so does Kearney. So that gives you a bit of an idea of what's happening. So UK data-wise, we've already had some uh, some Chinese data coming out. Looks like a slight disappointment there on trade exports uh, and a similar thing with trade exports in general for China. Uh, we've got UK trade balance, UK interest rates uh, due to date at 9.30 and 12 respectively, followed by jobless claims at 1.30 for the US. And then on Friday, I'd be very surprised if we didn't have any data, but Apparently we don't. So um, keep your eye on uh, the chart forum. I'll be saying keep your eye on a lot of things today, but there's lots of good analysis on here. Big insights part of your layer, and join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.